Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn about all types of air conditioning system. There is bewildering range of building air conditioning systems in the market today, ranging from small or medium capacity self-contained unit to central water chillers or boilers. While all of these HVAC systems share common basic elements, they differ in physical appearance and arrangement, price, performance and in manner of control and operation. Some drivers in selection are the design of the building itself, height visibility of equipment and proximity to surrounding buildings, while other factors entail the owner's preference, initial capital cost, aesthetics and long term life cycle costs. Window mounted AC units represent the largest category of portable AC appliances. Standard capacity range is 0.5 tons to 2 tons that can adequately cool 100 to 600 square feet. The design is a DX direct expansion vapor compression cycle and the heat rejection is via air cooled condenser. The appearance of window units both internally and externally is not the ultimate in aesthetics or class. Spoils external facade and often suffer from water dripping as you can see in the image displayed on screen. Single split units are the most affordable type of standard air conditioning system suitable for a single room ductless application. A split unit has two components an outdoor metal cabinet and an indoor cabinet. That is why it is called a split system. The outdoor cabinet contains the condenser and compressor and typically sits on a concrete slab outside your building. The indoor cabinet contains the evaporator and is usually located on the wall in the attic or a closet. The indoor cabinet also typically includes a furnace or the inside part of a heat pump. The indoor and outdoor units are connected by a refrigerant line. The design is a DX direct expansion vapor compression cycle and the heat rejection is via air cooled condenser. Compared to window air conditioner, the split units make less noise since the noise generating component compressor is usually in outdoor cabinet. The split air conditioner system utilizes a direct expansion DX evaporator to cool air and air cool condenser to reject heat. The outdoor unit is usually pre-charged with refrigerant during manufacture. The majority of models currently being sold are reversible. They can operate as an air conditioning unit in hot weather or can provide heating as an air to air heat pump in cold weather. In heating mode, the indoor unit functions as condenser and the outdoor unit as evaporator. Indoor units can be ducted or non-ducted. Non-ducted indoor units can be either fixed, whether mounted high on a wall, floor mounted or a cassette ceiling suspended, built in horizontal or built in vertical or mobile. The outdoor unit can be either fixed or mobile. Ducted indoor units can deliver cool air to several rooms or to several spots within a single room. The ducted units distribute the cool air evenly in the space. This is mostly used in hotels or large apartments. Distributed Systems Large DX Air Conditioning Systems This market sector includes air conditioning systems for medium range residential and commercial buildings with unit capacities varying from 3 to 50 tons in distributed arrangements with multiple units. The cumulative capacity can aggregate to any number. However, beyond a 200 ton capacity, one must perform the life cycle analysis to check the benefits of a centralized chiller system. The sector includes large multi-split air conditioning systems, variable refrigerant flow VRF systems, ducted packaged units, rooftop units, heat pump units. All of these air conditioning systems utilize a direct expansion DX evaporator to cool air and air cool condenser to reject heat. This sector excludes small self-contained window and single split air conditioning. Multi-split units are simply a large version of a small split consisting of several indoor units up to around 10 connected to a single indoor outdoor unit. The multi-split units are preferred if you do not want to install duct work and if you want fewer outdoor units due to lack of outside space or else want to preserve your building's external appearance. They are almost frequently used in places like restaurants, 
offices, doctor surgeries and shops. Variable Refrigerant Flow VRF Systems The VRF Variable Refrigerant Flow System is similar in appearance to multi-split air conditioners. What makes the difference is the number of our indoor units and the control function. Multi-split system is generally limited to about 10 indoor units, whereas the VRF systems can connect to more than 50 indoor units on a single outdoor condensing type. VRF systems use proprietary temperature control devices for efficient flow of refrigerant. The temperature control is available at every indoor unit and the outdoor unit adjusts the compressor load based on the heat load coming in from various units. The VRF HVAC system's compressor can detect the precise requirements of each zone and send the precise amount of refrigerant needed to do the job. As a result, each area of your space is consistently comfortable with well-controlled humidity and no hot or cold spots. Some of these systems are designed to be able to provide simultaneous heating and cooling to different parts of the same building. Each indoor unit can be individually selected to provide either heating or cooling. Package Air Conditioning Systems The HVAC industry has its own language to identify different equipment types. Unitary refers to equipment that contains all of the components necessary to heat, cool, dehumidify, filter and move air in one or more factory made assemblies. Unitary equipment is available in packaged or split system designs. The most common type of commercial system is the package system design which provides both heating and cooling to about 70% of the commercial building floor space built over the last 30 years. Package units are typically sized from 5 to 30 tons in cooling capacity. They are generally mounted on rooftops but can also be installed at ground level. The evaporator and condenser are kept together in one package delivering conditioned air directly into a room or ductwork. Three main types of package units are used for conditioning. They can be distinguished by their mounting and blowing capability. Vertical package, horizontal package and rooftops. Vertical package units. Vertical package blow air horizontally or vertically upwards. The lower section normally contains the compressor, the condenser and condenser fan. And the upper section contains the cooling coil and blower. Horizontal package units. Horizontal package blow air horizontally. Typical cooling capacity product ranges between 3 and 20 tons. Rooftop package units. Roof mounted units RTUs are installed on the roof and air is blown downwards through the ductwork. The units are set on curves that are flashed into the roofs. Typical cooling capacity product ranges from 3 to 50 tons. These are very commonly used in single story structure, especially warehouses and superstores. Heat pumps. A heat pump is an electric device used to pull heat out of air ground or water and transfers it to the building. Heat pumps and air conditioners operate in a very similar way. The difference is that the heat pump cycle can be reversed to either heat or cool a controlled space. Think about what would happen if you install the window air conditioner in reverse, that is turning it at 180 degrees. Now instead of transferring heat from inside the room to the outdoors, the air conditioner would be attempting to cool the great outdoors and transferring heat from the higher temperature outdoor air to the lower temperature air within the room. This heating process is called reverse cycle air conditioning and this is what a heat pump is designed to do. It is designed to cool a space when operating as an air conditioner and it is designed to heat a space when the cycle is reversed. The actual reversal of the cycle is accomplished by reversing the flow of refrigerant and causing indoor coils and outdoor coils to switch roles. Heat pumps are classified based on the fluids used for heat source. While the heat pump is operating in the heating mode, for example, a heat pump that uses air as its heat source when operating in the heating mode is referred to as an air source heat pump. Also a heat pump system that uses earth or water as its heat source when operating in the heating mode is classified as ground source or water source heat pump respectively. Two main types of heat pumps are air source heat pumps. Heat is transferred from the low, low temperature air outside to the high temperature interior. Number two, geothermal heat pumps. Ground source heat pumps relies on the relative warmth of air for its heating and cooling production. 
Water source heat pump heat is transferred from low temperature water outside from a pond, lake or ground to a high temperature interior.